In January, PM Justin Trudeau put former Toronto Police Chief and current Liberal MP Bill Blair in charge of cannabis legalization in Canada, a move likely intended to diminish criticisms and fears of the Conservative opposition and other prohibitionists. The decision, backed by Ontario Premier Kathleen Wynne and Toronto Mayor John Tory, comes one month after Blair was named as one of two parliamentary secretaries to Justice Minister Jody Wilson-Raybould. According to Justice Department spokesman Andrew Gowing, the Minister of Justice and her colleagues are confident that Blair's experience and background in public safety will be a great asset to the government's work to ensure a careful and thoughtful approach to the legalization and regulation of marijuana. As police chief, in 2014, Blair voiced support for reform when the Center for Addictions and Mental Health, or CAMH, came out in favor of legalizing and regulating cannabis. At the time, Blair said he was very encouraged by the public health approach advocated by CAMH. During last year's federal election campaign, Blair continued to express support for legal weed. Now, working with the Departments of Justice, Public Safety and Health, Blair will play a key role in making cannabis reform a reality. In an interview with the Globe and Mail, Blair repeated his party's promise to create a federal, provincial, territorial task force to study the best way to legalize the plant. Still, according to Blair, any form of legalization will require controls and regulations. Quote, There is a need for some control. Our intent is to legalize, regulate, and restrict. There needs to be reasonable restrictions on making sure that we keep it away from kids. We also have to ensure that the social and the health harms are properly managed and mitigated, and that can be done through regulation, he said. Blair wouldn't say when cannabis would be legal in Canada, but instead emphasized the need to get it right, saying the best policy will be evidence-based, and we will gather that evidence. There are many people who have concerns, and I want to hear those concerns. And there are many people who have advice, and we will listen to them, he said. In the meantime, experts and advocates are warning the Liberals not to make legalization too restrictive. According to Vancouver attorney Kirk Tussaud, individuals should be allowed to grow their own cannabis. He told the Globe and Mail that if weed is treated like nuclear waste, it won't work. Even if we treat it like alcohol, it may not work that well. You have got to allow people to grow it for themselves. It's not really legalization if you are kicking people's doors down and hauling them off to jail for growing the plant, he said. Tusa also expressed apprehension with Blair's lead role on the cannabis file, saying people are creatures of their histories. If what you have seen of cannabis is gang violence and those kinds of things, I think you will have a perspective that is not necessarily in tune with the reality on the ground, he said. Cannabis activist Jody Emery voiced similar concerns over Blair's new position, explaining that police have always been the biggest cheerleaders for prohibition, and they've been our adversaries in this whole historical movement. Still, she pointed out the positive PR of having Toronto's ex-top cop in charge of cannabis, especially after last year's aggressive conservative attacks on the Liberals for the legalization plan. Attorney Adam Goldenberg agrees that the decision is all about optics, telling the Canadian press that you can't ask for a better spokesperson than a former police chief. He added that it's going to be very difficult to point at an MP who most of us are used to seeing in a highly decorated police uniform and accuse him of being soft on crime. It remains to be seen whether Blair was the right choice to oversee cannabis legalization in Canada, but it's hard to argue with the rationale. Blair's role could make legalization more palatable to those with concerns. And as Goldenberg noted, it will be difficult for the conservative opposition to criticize the ex-police chief for being soft on crime.